Hi, Ben here from 498 Nerf, and today I want to talk about how do you make a super stock blaster quieter. And what I've got here is a desolator that I've modded to get super stock performance, but to run as quietly as possible. So, first of all, let me rev this up and take a listen to what this is doing. And now I'm going to run a rapid strike that uh, I've cut down and running on three rhinos for comparison. Again, the desolator, the rhinos on the, in the rapid strike. Now there's two things that I've done here uh, to help get this quiet. And the first is the choice of flywheels. Um, I've used worker flywheels that are very well balanced. So one of the things that makes the most noise when you really super stock a, a flywheel blaster is that the flywheels tend to be out of balance. The rapid strike ones are probably the worst. And you know, you, you get some of the other ones, you can get them warped, get them out a little bit of out balance. I got a couple, a set of worker flywheels, the one that go for the strife. Um, put them in here in the desolator, and because they are uh, more precise in, in their roundness and their weight distribution, and they're just you know, just a little higher quality. And because they are a higher quality build, they don't make as much noise. Now, the second thing that I've done here is the choice of motors and the RPM of the motors. To get super stock velocities, you need to have motors that are above 22, 23,000 RPMs. And I've got some Kaizen 16180s in here that when running on four IMR cells, and I'm using IMR cells because these motors are in spec for IMR cells. They don't pull more current than the IMR cells can provide, but when you hook those up to four IMR cells, it turns about 24, 25,000 RPMs. So I'm just above that threshold. Slower flywheels, quieter blaster. It's something that we don't think about, talk about too much in this hobby. We want to run things at 35, 38,000 RPMs. And when you do that, it's fine and it works well, but it's louder. And a lot of times louder is what you're going for. Sometimes you want to be intimidating, sometimes you want your blaster to, you know, just to scare off the, the, the zombies that are coming after you or the other players, you know, to, the intimidation factor. Sometimes you don't, and sometimes you want a little bit quieter. So what I'm looking at with this is quieting the thing down. So anyways, I'm going to take it outside, shoot it, and uh, put it over top of the chronograph. Now, as you can see from the chronograph readings, this is getting pretty standard super stock performance, a little over 120, maybe even a little bit on the high end of what you normally can get out of it. The worker flywheels do a good job of gripping and uh, propelling the darts forward. And so running it at that RPM with well-balanced flywheels, you're not sacrificing any performance, but you are gaining, if you're looking for this kind of a thing, you're gaining a much quieter uh, blaster in, in your build. Anyway, the um, firing demos were from 30 and 50 feet away, so you can see that you know, you're more than capable of engaging targets from those ranges. So anyways, this is a build put together to try to maximize quietness. There's, there's probably a couple other things I can do, get a, get a metal cage like an artifact flywheel cage that will dampen some sound more. Um, but the key thing that I wanted to, the one to bring out with this video is you don't have to run your flywheels at 35,000 RPMs. If you run them at 25,000 RPMs, you get the same performance and you get a quieter build. Anyways, again, I'm Ben498Nerf. Thanks for watching.